The current ratio is calculated by taking current assets and dividing it by current liabilities. Let's review some of the most common accounts that will be included in current assets for this ratio. The first is cash. Cash is valued at its full value as it doesn't require any time or cost to convert it into cash. Typically, the next most liquid asset on the balance sheet is accounts receivable. Most customers would pay their bills to the company, but nothing is for sure. Some accounts may not pay, and some of them may take longer than expected. So even though accounts receivable is anticipated to be cash that's generated for the company, it may actually turn out to be a bit less than the amount that's on the balance sheet. If a company does need to quickly convert its accounts receivable into cash, there are companies that will buy the accounts receivable balance from the business at a discount and assume responsibility for collecting that money. This is known as factoring. The next most liquid item on the balance sheet is typically inventory. Inventory can vary widely by industry and company type. From inventory that can be sold very quickly, almost at its full value, to inventory that's slow moving, and if liquidated may have to be sold at a steeper discount. Another account that is commonly included in current assets is prepaid expenses. An example could include an insurance policy or any expense on the income statement that is paid in advance of when the work is actually being completed. As you can see, many of these current assets on the numerator may actually need to be discounted or would actually produce less cash than we are led to believe. For this reason, a general rule of thumb is that having a current ratio of 2 to 1 is a good sign. This ratio can vary widely depending on the industry and the life cycle stage of the company. For some companies, it might be acceptable to have a lower ratio that's closer to 1 to 1, or in other cases, it may be prudent to have a much higher ratio of 2, 3, or 4 to 1 to adequately cover those current liabilities.